Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of communication, success, and motivation. So, welcome if you are new to my channel, and welcome back if you are already a subscriber. How has 2024, the first year of the period 9, coming for the 20 years till 2043, been for you since we have already passed? The midpoint and already into July. Well, if you are a subscriber in my channel and have noticed that I've started the Period 9 Success series starting with the video on experimental mindset, why did I start on that? Basically because of all the changes, diversity, political instability that we are seeing in the market. I think having an experimental mindset is critical because of all the changes and how you can experiment and find success without causing you a lot of distress. So if you have not watched that video, please remember to click on this link to watch it. Now, two weeks ago, I shared the next video on the foundation for period nine success, where I talked a lot about the Ken trigram in terms of having the root chakra and sacral chakra address in having stability, making sure that you're not so distressed with all the insecurities and changes around. And this is crucial to address before we even move towards period nine in terms of the heart chakra on where's my life purpose, about happiness. As I mentioned in a lot of my period nine videos with the Lee trigram fire element, happiness, motivation, and passion is crucial. So if you've not watched those series, please watch the videos as I'm pointing to right now on the period nine series itself. And if you like to recap or watch the video about the foundation for creating period nine success, please do remember to click on this link as I'm showing here. Now for today, what am I going to share? Well, at the end of the day, if we are looking at period nine foundation success, there must be other tools, right? So I've shared quite a bit about the period nine in terms of alignment. And one of the tools we can utilize is actually qi men duan jia, where understanding our long-term purpose and goal and what will bring us happiness, it will bring us towards the I am abundant and abundance mindset feeling. If you have not watched anything about Timon Tuan Jia and would like to find out about your long-term life purpose, especially from a destiny guardian purpose, you can click on this link to find out more. Now in today's video, what am I going to share? I'm going to share another tool. The other tool that I'm going to talk about today is utilizing the mindfulness technique, which has gained quite a lot of popularity. Why is it crucial? Because this is one tool that is great at calming our monkey mind and I'll explain a lot more in the next segment. So I'll see you in the next segment. Some other ways which I will cover more is actually the mindfulness as a way to basically align ourselves as well as qi men tuan jia in terms of having an insight of how to align ourselves. So when we look at mindfulness, why do we need mindfulness? Because of our mind. Why? Because the mind is a great tool for problem solving. Right? We're great using our mind. We train our mind from young to problem solve, especially in the education system. Solve maths problem, solve this problem, solve that problem. Okay, come to a situation, solve a problem. Its function is to think, to analyze, to figure things out. Right? So it's not so good at settling down. That's why people have difficulty with meditation. Especially before you go into sleep at night. You start to do your work, you start to analyze, you start to think that night cannot sleep already. Because you did not allow the mind to basically settle down. And it's not wrong. It's just that the function of the mind is to analyze, to think, to do something. You ask it not to do anything, you don't know what to do. What happens is it will constantly seek out new things to do. So you must understand your own mind about the insecurity that you're talking about when you're switching. I understand that my mind, my personality cannot don't go for massages, cannot don't go for facials, cannot don't buy anything for myself, cannot don't go for holiday. So I must save money to do all this. 
some parts of it, the more expensive ones, some parts of it for my semi-retirement, then the other parts I can spend. So understanding your mind, training your mind helps. Then you can sleep at night. Okay, because this is what the mind is supposed to do. And we have trained it from young because we study, we go through the education system. To train it to do it, suddenly ask it not to do anything. And sit there and think about nothing. Thoughts, narrative stories will keep coming. When you sit there, do nothing, lie down and sleep at night. Don't you think so? All sorts of thoughts. What went through the day? What am I supposed to be doing? Whether I plan, what to do, the stories of other people. Then it's not necessarily about anything that is important or that is happening now at the moment. It's usually about all sorts of things. Actually not very productive. If you think of it like when you're very angry, right? you sit there, the first feeling is angry. The next feeling is, how can this person betray me? So it's angry, then betrayer. Then I feel sad because I built a relationship with them already. So it's actually not one single thought. It's actually angry, sad, and then betrayer. And then after that, angry, sad, betrayer. It's like reruns, the thoughts are like rotating in your head. But if you are controlled by these thoughts, then your emotions go following up and down. Because your thoughts affect your emotions, they affect the crystals that I explained earlier, that affects your health. That's what training your mind is about and mastering the focus, what you focus on and train your mind to do. This portion here, it's about retraining your mind and it is the I am, the root first, the I am first. Because when you talk about the heart, is I feel. Before you train your mind, you cannot go I feel first because your thoughts all over the place, I feel angry, I feel betrayed, I feel whatever, right? So you must master the I am first. Two types from a Buddhist perspective. One is called a focus meditation. The other one is called an observing meditation. So focus meditation, it's basically when you use the instructor's words to focus on the senses, or you focus on your breath, or you focus on counting, you focus on the different parts of your body. This is to help to train your mind so that your mind don't stray. That is the training that we're talking about, the focus. If you meditate a lot, when you sit there, the thoughts will come in. Because this is our mind, right? You cannot stop the thoughts from coming in. It is more of observing the thoughts like a tapati. That's why it's called observing meditation. Mm -hmm.